Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Luis Borrero. I'm an artist working in a classical style. In this video, we're going to be working with chiaroscuro lighting and theory. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for further tutorials and also check out the links below to find out more information about my courses online available at Udemy. In this chapter, we're going to be exploring chiaroscuro lighting. Chiaroscuro lighting is the model of lighting that we're going to be using in this chapter and throughout this whole course to depict our forms. The way that it works is that you use a 45 degree light source, okay, that falls over the form, okay, and you get a behavior of light on one side and a behavior of shade on the opposite. The parallel planes to the light source are going to reflect extreme light and the opposite planes that are moving away from the light source are not going to capture direct light, but are, are going to capture uh, reflective light, okay, from the outside. And on the opposite side, we're going to have a cast shadow because the three-dimensional form is blocking the trajectory of the light. So in the opposite side, we have the absence of light, which is a cast shadow. Okay. So we're going to go, move, go ahead and move on to our organic form exploration uh, of using an egg to see how the transition works and how to achieve softer forms using chiaroscuro lighting. So let's just go ahead and begin by establishing how the light is working. We have light that is working at 45 degrees, okay, falling in the form just like we described uh, with the cube. In this case, we have the light that is coming bouncing off this side, which is capturing light, okay? This whole side will be parallel to the light source, so it's capturing light. On the opposite side, you have the shade mass, okay? And the shade mass has a reflective light that is bouncing back into the form, okay? As value number six, okay? I'm giving you a nine value structure, so you could use it when uh, illuminating and shading modeling your uh, drawings okay and in the right in the middle we have the third contour okay that third contour is really important it's also known as the cat the core shadow excuse me and that's value number seven okay right here in the center and we move on to the half tone value number five and the uh, halfway point between shade mass on this side and light mass on this side okay value number five from there, we move on to the half light, okay, value number four and three. And then we move on to value number two, this area right here, which will be light. And then finally, our highlight with value number one, okay. Now, if this was uh, a form that was uh, sitting on a plane, you would have a cast shadow that would be value number nine with the, with two uh, uh you know two in the intermediate values inside the cast shadow which would be value number eight for the penumbra which is when the light comes back to the cast shadow and it lightens the cast shadow okay so let's just go ahead and use this uh, uh lighting model for our uh, construction drawings and uh, we're going to be exploring how this works over more complex forms as we do our constructions of the eye the ear the nose and the mouth in our next chapters. 